18 days into the month of January and I have finally decided to release my top 10 games of 2015 list. Hey what's up guys, Trex here, and yes, it's that time of the year again. As for the two years before, we are doing the top 10 games of year yada 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 again, as every single channel does these days, but it's kind of okay because everybody has different opinions and so the lists are quite varied. So, same rules still apply, only games that I played, no early access games, no games released before 2015. There we go, and since these are only games that I played, there's going to be some games that aren't on this list, like Crypt of the Necrodancer, or Undertale. Yeah, didn't, didn't get around to that one. I tried to, I played like 20 minutes of it, but I just couldn't get through it and I just didn't have time and it's January and I want to get this list out so if I played Undertale it would most definitely be one of my top three games probably but since I didn't I can't really say so sorry about that but anyways let's get on with it starting off with number 10 Mad Max Mad Max did one thing really really well and a whole bunch of other stuff okay the one thing that did really really well was the car combat and the driving those were incredible it was just fun driving your car and that's what it needed to be you could just drive through the desert and the handling felt great the combat felt great everything about it just felt great and they did some okay stuff like the stories and the side quests and the missions those those weren't great the world was a desert, so it was bland, but that was to be expected. So Mad Max, you ran well, you had a great companion, and your driving was insanely fun. You are my number 10 game of 2015. Number 9. It's hard to compare to Fallout 3 being one of the best games of all time, but Fallout 4 kind of holds its own. It's very pretty, it's full of colors, it runs... sort of. It runs okay. But the game is gorgeous. There was speculation before it came out about how, how ugly it would be. But it just looks phenomenal. And the color, you can tell that there's blues and browns and greens instead of gray and a slightly lighter shade of gray and maybe a slight greenish gray in Fallout 3. Fallout 4 is number 9 though because while it was fun and it was colorful and it had a great settlement building mode, it just lacked. The, there was no depth. The story just kind of lacked the dialogue. They streamlined it, but it also just took away from the whole Fallout experience. Still though, fun game, Fallout 4, here on my number 9 game of 2015. Moving on to number 8, Cities Skylines. Cities Skylines completely revamped the city building genre after SimCity completely screwed itself over, causing the company Maxis to shut down, City Skylines comes back in and picks up the pieces and carefully assembles them and gives them to you in a nice, pristine, beautiful game. City Skylines has the basis of a city builder game, but is so much more than that. It feels like you're connected to your town. Lynchburg and I were partners. We did everything together in the game. We controlled traffic. We built houses. That is, until I bankrupted the city and moved on to Lynch Field. But anyways, City Skylines does everything right, hits all the right notes, and is overall a darn near perfect game. City Skylines, you are my number 8 game of 2015. Number 7. Westerado. Have you ever wanted to live in a western? Experience the world of the good, the bad, and the ugly? I know I certainly have, and Westerado is almost perfect for that. The revenge tale, the world, the western aesthetic, it all it makes a fantastic game that is just so fun. Thank you Adult Swim Games for Westerado, and I think uh, there's some conspiracies to be found in the world. Westerado, you're my number seven game of 2015. Number six, Nuclear Throne. Nuclear Throne is a roguelike. Not a roguelite, but a roguelike. It does 
all the things that a normal roguelike does, like Binding of Isaac, but it puts its own unique spin on it. The gameplay, especially the screen shake, the gunplay, and just the overall fun and sense of urgency in the game makes Nuclear Throne a very, very fun game indeed. Infinitely replayable, infinitely enjoyable. Nuclear Throne, you are my number six game of 2015. Number five. It's hard to follow up on Just Cause 2, being as it is one of the most fun games ever created, but Just Cause 3 does an alright job. Just Cause 3 has its major problems, I will admit that. The world is just bland. While Just Cause 2 had like 348 settlements it was maybe, Just Cause 3 has about 58. In the world, it just needs to be filled with something. It's gorgeous, don't get me wrong. The world is incredibly gorgeous, but it's just so lifeless. The settlements are just copied and pasted. The military bases offer some variation, but not too much. If Just Cause 3 could just take from Just Cause 2's world, but with the mechanics it provided, it would be so much better. But still, Just Cause 3 is my number 5 game because of how fun its moments are. Just blowing up bridges and jumping out of planes, it all makes an incredible experience. And the wingsuit could have been a bad decision, but it's perfect. I no longer need to get Volo Air Sport because I have Just Cause 3. Just Cause 3, you are my number 5 game of 2015. Alright, top 4 games. These are getting exciting. So, moving on to number 4, Rocket League. Rocket League is football slash soccer for us Americans with cars. It's so simple. You've seen it on Top Gear. You've played it as a side mode in whatever Monster Truck 64 game or whatever. But Rocket League takes this one element and does it perfectly. The cars feel fantastic. The gameplay feels fantastic. It is massively addictive. I've put nearly 50 hours into it. Rocket League just makes everything in itself so fun. Although, don't play ranked matches because Everybody's super good at me. Rocket League, you are my number four game of 2015. Number three, America! Yeah, Broforce is my number three game of 2015 because Broforce is just so, so full of American joy. Never has there been a greater sense of freedom in a video game. With Broforce, you just get to run through the Middle East, in Asia, in America, and fight, you know, henchmen that are suspiciously minority looking, and zombies, and demons, and it's just so fun. There's so many bros, all your favorite action stars are in the game. It's such a fun game. Broforce is my number three game of 2015. My number two game was previously mentioned on my best games of 2013 list, but now that it's out of early access like a phoenix rising from the ashes, it propels itself to number two on my top ten games of 2015 list. Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program. What a fantastic game. One of the best games I have ever played. One of my favorite games I have ever played. The world is endless. The rockets are exciting. You get to engineer and build your own freaking rocket and fly it to planets and moons and through space. It's the realization of everyone's childhood dreams. In, in science, it actually requires real science to learn how to get to far off planets. Anyone can get to the moon, but can you get to Elu? I don't know. Kerbal Space Program is just incredible and its endless opportunities propel it to my number two game of 2015. Alright, number one game of 2015. This is a good one. This is a real good one. Drum roll, please. Close enough. Prison Architect, you are my number one game of 2015 because you just took a dying genre the management tycoon genre, and you caused it 
to propel back into the limelight. Prison Architect saved a dying genre. It is incredible. It's fun. It's challenging. It requires you to think. It's not everybody's cup of tea, I'll admit, but it's mine. And I thoroughly enjoy Prison Architect. Prison Architect, you are my number one game of 2015. So that's it. Top 10 games of 2015. Sorry there's no Undertale or Emily is Away, although I did really like that one. Or Crypt of the Necrodancer. I had to stick it to 10 and 10 games that I played. I'll play Undertale sometime in the future, guys, so don't get your pitchforks and torches yet. And I'll report back after I play it. But for now, enjoy this. And thank you all very much for watching. If you would like to see the other top 10 lists, there will be a link in the description below. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.